hello guys welcome back to my channel i am your host Agu joseph in today's video i'll be sharing with you how i was able to achieve uh, this church flyer design in photoshop please if you are coming across this channel for the very first time this channel is all about graphic design related content and if you're interested do it to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever i upload new content on the channel and for returning subscribers thank you guys for always watching well, without further ado let's dive into this video so we we'll have to create a new uh, canvas on which we'll be designing on and i would like to set my unit of measurement in pixels 3000 uh, by 3000 of width and height resolution can be set on 300 leave other settings the way they are like this and hit on the create button so over here we have the canvas on which we'll be designing on the first phase has to do with uh, dragging in all the resource files we'll be using to create this design. So guys, here are the exercise files I'll be using to create this design. Do well to check the video description. You'll find the link to the exercise files in the video description. Okay, so the first phase has to do with uh, placing or creating our design composition. So I'll start by working with uh, this splash uh, image, which I actually got from uh, pinterest.com so i have to scale it by hitting ctrl t and positioning it around somewhere here like this rotate the angle okay and position it into your canvas to around somewhere here like this okay that is for that so after i'm done with uh, this end the next thing i would like to do is to also enable this uh uh poster color uh image here scale it up as well and position it to around somewhere here like this in your canvas okay so this is how i was able to set the background up okay so i'll start by dragging this over here okay this image layer right click and convert it to a smart object so that you maintain uh, image quality whenever you scale it up or scale it down so i hit ctrl t and position this over here right click and click on create clipping marks to be precise okay so over here i like to change the blending mode of this to around this to be precise works perfectly well ctrl t to scale down and you can choose to position it like this into your canvas okay likewise uh, this other image over here i'll right click to convert it to a smart object ctrl t to transform and i can choose to position it into the canvas like this okay so you can position it into your workspace like this scale it up so you click on the check button and change the blending mode to similar blending mode like the one we used earlier okay i think this is perfectly okay like this okay so the next thing i like to do here is to select the the uh the splash layer add the vector max pick my brush to make sure my foreground is set on black and brush out some of the edges of the image like this i don't need this other end that has those rough textures so similar technique will be applied here with a vector max and brush out some of this other end like this brush them out we don't need them so all i have to do is to scale down this this splash image okay control zero to fit to screen okay i can choose to position it like this okay and we are good to go so for this as well i might choose to scale it down okay take it down like this likewise take uh, the image down like this and position it into your canvas looking this way as well okay that is for that so for this worship image here i also like to right click and click click on the create marks uh, clip marks rather that is for this so i like to add uh, more depth uh, details to this image here so all i have to do is to head over by selecting the image layer head over to filter apply the camera raw filter so over here on the camera raw filter i like to enable the before and the after and head over to my basics i'll be working on only textures and clarity on the basics here okay head over to details 
and sharpen the image and add a little bit of noise reduction leave other settings and click on the ok button okay so after i'm done with that you can see the before and the after on the image as well okay so i can hold alt left click to drag the effect to this other uh, layer here okay i'm trying to apply the same effect without any alteration okay so after i'm done with that i can then choose to select uh these layers and close them up okay so i'll select this layer holding shift select this hit ctrl g to group it okay head over to my adjustment over here and enable the color balance over here on the color balance we'll start by working with the mid tones okay i like to enhance the value of blue and play with the cyan okay so it is more of an eyeballing situation there are no rules governing how to go about this so if it's actually good to you then you are good to go so select these two layers as well group them together okay control zero to fit to screen this is the image layer of what we are dealing with here so head over apply the same step over here okay you can can play with this can play with this as follow okay and if it's okay for you you can then choose to leave this this way okay so i can still head over to where i have this texture layer here select my brush and soften the edges of this okay i don't like how these edges are okay that is in terms of that so moving on after we are done with uh, creating of our background i would like to select this layer holding shift select this layer and hit ctrl g to group it uh, bg we stands for the background so i would like to start adding my information into my canvas so over here we have uh, the text information that we'll be using so i'll start by uh, setting up my guide so that i will be able to control the eye movement of my target audience so head over to view and uh, enable the a new guys layout and set it as follows please set it as follows uh you can set this on about 10 percent okay likewise this 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent to be precise so you click on the okay i would like to enable the church logo which is actually this okay so I'll double click on this and uh, head over to colors. I'll use a color that will create contrast. Okay. So I used uh, this few colors. So all I had to do was just double click on the layer. Okay. Head over to the layer style. Apply the color value and set it as follows. Okay. And this is the opacity. And click on OK. So that is in terms of uh, the logo. So the next text has to do with uh, the team of the event. Okay. So I'll start by pasting it in here. Check Ctrl T to transform it out and change the font I'll be using for this. Okay. So I'll be calling this Bebas. That's the name of the font. Okay. And for this, I will select this first line of text, increase the size so that it will have this similar size. In terms of width like this okay close up uh, your tracking like this okay and afterwards hit ctrl t to transform and scale out make sure it aligns with your guide like this okay so that is in terms of that so i'll highlight this change the fill color by sampling the color from here i like this as well okay and change the fill color by using a contrasting color in terms of this like this okay so that is in terms of this so i'll move on to placing the rider text for the event okay for the program i'll paste it in here check hit ctrl t transform it out paste it in here please okay so you can then choose to scale it down to create contrast 
okay so you can create contrast in i think about three different ways in terms of size use of color uh what else use of form and uh, shadows okay that is in terms of uh, contrast so this is very very essential in terms of uh, controlling the eye movement of your target audience so likewise here i would like to create contrast in terms of size of this text so i'll change the the style from semi bold to extra bold under the font style of the same font family okay i'm making use of montserrat for this okay for the body text okay so after i'm done with that i'd like to also highlight this text paste it in here as well okay increase the size okay and likewise come over here position it here like this and uh, scale it down properly okay head over to my tracking and expand my leadings properly okay if it's okay for me and scale it down like this as well and we are good to go so i can choose to leave it like this okay so that is in terms of this so uh, i would like to also place in this other line of info here to be precise so head over here paste it here okay likewise this okay so for this i would like to create space between them like this using the enter key so i will create contrast by scaling up the style from semi bold to either extra bold and also playing with contrast in terms of color usage over here okay i might choose to uh, change the fill color for this line of text to either this okay that is in terms of that why a uh, similar technique will be used here as well to make this stand out scale change the style to a bigger style category and you can also change the fill color to something like this okay so that is in terms of uh, color usage here i'm trying to work with the colors we already have on the design okay so not introducing another color I'm trying to maintain the usage of color here likewise i would like to enable these icons over here and uh, scale them properly make sure they have equal width size so i would like to scale them to make sure they are equally they have equal width size select both layers hit ctrl t then scale them down together and position it where it ought to be positioned make sure it overlap with your guides okay we're trying to structure this design properly so i think i would like to take the uh this down this way uh likewise positioning this over here okay oh i made a mistake i ought to use a location icon for this okay so i will have to get a location icon for that but uh moving on i like to fit this project hit ctrl h to hide the guide and you can see the project so far okay so this is actually coming out nice so I like to add a little depth to the theme of the event is very flat so head over to where i have the text layer for the theme which is this so pick my pen to set it on shape okay and uh, what you can then pick any color of your choice maybe uh, this color for example i don't need to give it a color yet but i just like to give it color for clarity purpose so i'll come over here left click like this then left click and drag out this wheel like this okay so afterwards i'll click here sorry ctrl z hold alt break the anchor point over here click here like this and straight down like this and connect it to the original starting point okay so i like to create a max layer okay i've locked this 
on this okay or you right click and click on create a clipping max it all depends on what you want to do so i'll double click over here on the layer the layer style comes up head over to gradient overlay so over here on gradient overlay i would like to set this as follows so i would like to uh select this give it a white fill okay this is a hex code over here as well we have another white fill okay but the difference between here and here is that this doesn't have an opacity this, the, the opacity is set on zero why this is set on 100 and this is actually positioned in the middle okay that is in terms of that so afterwards you can leave your settings as follows okay and click on the ok button so after i'm done with that i would like to come over here on the field and turn it off i don't need the field again okay so now you can see that the white is actually appearing like this on your design okay so i can still choose to duplicate this okay and uh, make sure i hit ctrl t to right click right click on it flip it horizontally and i can choose to flip it vertically rather like this or i might choose to uh right click and flip it horizontally this way okay rotate it angle like this if it's okay for me then i click on the okay button so here you can see we have this field over here you can also control the opacity by reducing the intensity on the text so i think uh we are actually good to go okay so afterwards i like to arrange my layer i don't like the way it is actually scattered like this so select my icon layers take them side by side the information and select the layer and group them together so i can call this uh a venue and date to be precise okay so these two are the team of the events so i would like to select them with the shape layers holding control select in each and every one of them group them together so this is one of the ways you can actually keep your layer panel neat and organized to be precise so what else we don't need this color palette any longer and i think we are good to go i can rename this to church logo i might still choose to take uh, the design further by applying a curve adjustment over here okay while using the curve adjustment you can choose to add more shadows okay into the design like this okay and you can see the results okay so if i'm going this way, i'm adding more of highlights to the design so this is more of an eyeballing situation you just play with it uh, smartly and we are good to go okay that is in terms of that for this as well i don't like this i like to select the layer marks of the uh the splash and pick my brush tool and i like to brush out some of these details over here i don't like this the way it's actually appearing so you just brush out some of those details that are not needed and we are good to go okay so ladies and gentlemen we've come to the end of this video if you do find this video helpful do it to give it a thumbs up do it to smash the like button so that the youtube algorithm can recommend this to other creatives on the youtube search engine as well and likewise if you are new to the channel do it to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so that uh, the youtube algorithm can notify you whenever i upload new content on this channel for returning subscribers thank you for always watching please if you have any, any questions do well to leave them in the comment section as well and you can also share this video with other creative friends around you as well and if you're able to achieve any design through my tutorial do well to tag me whenever you upload them on your socials um yg digital world across all socials Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next.